Federal prosecutors pointed the finger at New Jersey Governor Chris Christie during opening statements in the so-called Bridgegate trial. They claim Christie knew his allies were involved in the controversial closure of access lanes to the George Washington Bridge as it was happening. They also say the purpose of the lane closures in 2013 was to punish Fort Lee's mayor, who declined to endorse Christie's reelection. The lane closures caused massive traffic jams. The governor denies any involvement. Two former Christie associates are on trial, charged with conspiracy and wire fraud. Ricky Kleeman is here. Ricky, good morning. Good morning. So what are the implications of Christie being accused of this? Well, he's accused, if you want to call it that, by the prosecution in its opening statement, which will likely be proved up by David Wildstein. David Wildstein is the centerpiece of this trial. David Wildstein is the person who was a defendant, who's now turned state's evidence. He's going to testify against these two defendants. And so the prosecutor says, whilst he's going to say that Christie knew. But to use an old cliche in politics, what did he know mm -hmm. and yeah. when did he know it? Okay, mm -hmm. if Governor Christie knew about it, what are the implications of that? Well, if he knew about it three days in, which is all the prosecutor said yesterday, then the question is, should he have stopped it before the first, fourth day? Is that a crime? I don't think that that's so clear. If he knew about it beforehand, which is not what the prosecutor said, then you have another issue. Well, there are two questions about it. Did David Wolfstein, did he turn maybe months and months ago? Yes. I mean, he hadn't just recently turned. No. He's working for the prosecution. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. He's He's, he's the case. I mean, he's been there for months. I mean, yes, years, yes, yes, I mean, yes. yes. Secondly, what are those people who are the defendants saying about this particular point that Christie knew? Well, I assume well, that the assume defendants are going to back it up all the way. You have to remember here, both sides, very rare, both sides, prosecution, defense, blaming Chris Christie for everything. Even the jurors, both sides agreed they'd have jurors who don't like Chris Christie, mm -hmm. who one juror said that he's irrational and still put him on. So both sides are trying to say, look, Bridget Ann Kelly, I, I was someone who just arranged his meetings. I certainly didn't have the sophistication to direct something like this. So the only person who could have directed would have been someone far more powerful than me. Mr. Baroni, Mr. Baroni says, hey, David Wildstein, he's Chris Christie's voice. When Chris Christie speaks, he speaks through Wildstein. Wildstein concocted this plan, so they believe it came from Chris Christie. Believing is not evidence. Mm -hmm. I mean, there may be smoke, doesn't mean there's fire. Christie has been very consistent from the in very his beginning. Denials. Three years ago, from mm -hmm. the very beginning, right. he said, I had no involvement. And he still says that today. But, so what are the what are the legal implications for him? Yeah. Well, could he be called to testify? He could be called to testify. It sounds like uh, the defense keeps making noise that they may want to call him. He says if he is called, he will, in fact, testify. If I'm his lawyer, I don't necessarily think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. But we have to remember mm -hmm. that he's a political mm -hmm. figure, and sometimes you have to do what politics demands. What? Yeah, is Chris, Chris Christie, Christie in legal jeopardy? Um, one might say he's possible. I don't necessarily think it's likely. Now, you also have two defendants. If wa either one of them is convicted, you always know they're facing a lot of time. The but one count is a 20-year count. If you added them all up, you're into the stratosphere of 86. If one of them is gets real time and they want to put Christie in the soup, well, then the question may be then, are they telling the truth or not? Yeah. But or beyond is Christie that, telling the, the legality truth? of it all, Chris Christie wants a future in politics. Yes, yeah. he does. And he would like to be if Donald Trump wins in the cabinet. Of course yeah, he would. And, General, and yeah. the question is, will all of this create an effect legally during the confirmation process? And the fact process. that somebody flipped against him, I would think, would be a little concerning. To well, especially time. this guy. He's, yeah. they say, the ventriloquist dummy. Yes. That's what he's called. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, We're so lucky okay. to have Ricky yes, Kleeman here. Ricky Kleeman with the inside. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Ricky Kleeman. Thank you. Good to see you.